So welcome back. In this video, what we'll do is let's try to understand how to use embeddable objects or embeddable uh, fields. What we'll do for that is let me just remove all extra things here. Uh, this one. Okay. And okay. Let me just see it's working. Yeah. So we'll, we'll okay. So we'll, let's remove that and let me add one more property here and we'll say that property is or maybe a name, a name. Okay. So we have a name. Uh, we have a name here, right? But what happens, you know, in the in your name, if I want to take a full name, okay. Example, if, if you talk about my name, everyone thinks that my name is Navin Reddy, but not exactly. Uh, today, let me reveal my full name on 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 YouTube. So my full name is Thadipalli. Navin Kumar uh, Reddy Bap Reddy. Okay, that's weird. I know. So that's my that's my that's my surname. This is my first name and this is my father's name. Okay, so this is my surname. This is my first name and this is my father's name. Okay, so we have I have this big name here. So it's Sadipalli Navin Kumar Reddy Bap Reddy. Let me just close that now. That's enough for my time, my name. So what we have is when you talk about a name, we have these three things, right? We have first name, last name, and middle name. What I want is instead of having one field, I want three fields. So that you know when I when I go with name, it should be easier for me to work with, right? Example, if I want to see only the first name of the people, I can use the first name. If I want to see the last name of the people, I can use last name. And if I want to see the middle name, I can see the middle name, right? What I will do for that is uh, so we can create an array of string, but instead of that, we can create a class called as name. Okay, a name class, or maybe say alien name class. And this alien name class will have certain variables. So we'll, we'll have a variable like private uh, string f name, then private string l name, and then private string m name which is middle name okay so we have these three things and of course for this we also need uh, we also need getters and setters so we'll say source getters and setters okay let's select all these three and click on okay now with getters and setter we also need a two string method for that also we'll use source and say two string method and we'll select all these three okay now we got a two string method and getters and setter let's go back to my so this is my alien name uh, class in this alien instead of having string now i will go for alien name now the advantage is this alien a name will have three things a first name last name and middle name of, co of course we have to change the getter setters as well right since we are changing that so we'll say source uh, getters and setters i will say for a name okay now once we got this uh, once we got this a name l name we have to go back to app as well now since we want to we want to save the value we'll say new alien again because in the last video we have talked about fetching that's why we have done fetching here right but this time we'll go for again save i will say session dot save and i want to save what uh, i'm planning to save uh Telisco here okay now what else we need here I want to set the values now for sure when you say set the values I will say telisco dot set AID I will say this is one one zero and or maybe one zero one because since I'm, I'm changing the structure uh, so we have to make sure we are use create here not update let's go back to alien or not alien app and let's set the what we can set as we can say set color I will say color is green but if you say set name, that is something which is different, right? When you say set a name, now this is not a simple string, right? It's an object. That means to set the value, first you have to create the object. I will say alien name. I will say a n equal to new alien name. And we'll set the values. We'll say a n dot set f name, which is Naveen Kumar Reddy. And then we'll say a n dot set l name, which is Thadipalli. Okay. In fact, I should change my this. I should change my, you know, my. Uh, I should change my channel name to this one. 
Okay, so once we have said all these things, let's set a n here, and that's your a n, right? So we are creating an object of name, and then we are passing that name here. That sounds cool, right? Now, the real question is, when I say save, in the earlier scenario, we were having name as a string, right? So when you save name as a string, it will take a string. But this time, your name is not a string, it's an object. How many fields it will create? Since we have two classes now, not one, we have alien and alien name. Will it create two table? Will it, fed, will it keep all these values in the same table? Now see, to create table, we have to make sure that we use entity, right? And for a name, we have not mentioning anything. Let's see what happens if I run this code. If I run this code, you can see it will give you an error. It says it is not able to find the columns for name. It's because it is getting confused. Is it an entity or something else? We have to say, hey, don't create a new table for me. What I will do is I will put these values inside the same table. So that table will have multiple values. And you can do that with the help of embeddable. So when you say embeddable, that means this name will get embedded inside a alien table itself. So this alien table will have alien, uh, it will have AID, it will have color, it will also have a name, but not a name exactly. It will have these three things: f name, l name, and m name. Let me just run this to see you, to show you the output. If I run this code, uh, you can see it, it it is working. See the table structure here. It is a id. Then we got f name. Then we got l name. Then we got m name. Then we got color. And then uh, okay, so then we got color. And that's how you are inserting a value here. Let's see how this. This how this looks inside a table. If I run this query, you can see this is your sequence. We got a id, we got f name, l name, m name, and color. The thing is, you can see that the sequence of uh, okay, so that's how it works. So you can see we got one zero one, we got Naveen, we got uh, my surname, we got my middle name, and we got our color. So that's how you use this embeddable annotation to embed your 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 object inside another table. Of course, when we use entity here instead of using embedded, then it will get a new table, right? But we don't want a new table here. And that's why we'll be using embeddable. So that's it. That's it from this video in which you have used uh, embeddable annotation. Again, we can we can change the column name here as well. We can say add column, we can we can do all those extra things. Now, since this is not an entity, we will not we will not be using add id because add id is for uh, this is for the primary key, right? And since you are in, we are inserting this in a new table, so we don't have I mean, the existing table. Then we have to do we have, don't have to do that. So that's it from this the, from this that is from this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, click on click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos. Thank you so much.